everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Everyone who's anyone that's heard about the Raziel situation right now when it comes to Nidhi Sanji, the fact that they have been sending uh, some uh, cease and desist, it seems like, into her... Uh, email or whatever it is actually i believe she actually got it paper sent so they know her address and they send it to her address uh raziel situation heats up here's the archive version there's a link here of course everyone who knows about it can go to kurasanji uh forum and find out where it is the subreddit they have it there pdf version saved online in my nas offline in my nas learned about the pdf is longer pdf link since it doesn't remove it from the drive drive.google download it quick before it was removed there's the um shot 256 the the you know the basic code to, sh to show that it is you know the same thing and here's the the shot thing as well it's basically the you use this shot 256 one it's kind of like a confirmation that it is the same thing that it is not anything that's been modified and it says uh it seems one image bumped off to create the whole image of 50 megabyte file so there's the case of deleted page I think everything's the same we have false id2 who has it you know i have it on my channel if you want to look at it, the full view of it, I went over every single little bit of it. You know, uh, there's basically other people are wondering, the cease and desist is a Japanese PR tactic. It can be a PR tactic. It can be basically saying, look, we are going against the person who's been saying all these things. Look at us. We're doing the right thing. In fact, they're not learning anything from this year. It's a bad PR tactic for a lot of people because be like, oh, my God, then that means what they're saying was right. That's what a lot of people are going to take it as. That's what I take it as, is that they were saying something right. They were saying something damaging. Hey, remember, a cease and desist isn't an actual lawsuit. It is a threat of a lawsuit in case if you don't do the things that they want you to do. So it is a legal threat, basically, that a company can send out to you. Niji is the ostrich with his head in the sand. Uh, why would why wouldn't they? Uh, why would they? They learn from they don't learn from anything. They didn't learn from Zion. This person says Zion X and Y and Selen. They didn't learn anything from them. They're not going to learn uh, any good PR tactics in this case, according to this person. And of course, it reminds you of these moments. A throwback due to recent events. But I decided to reopen the wound, but I digress because it's a dry sand effect. I still love whoever did this on nyfco.org before the takedown. They said, thank you for your support. Love you. Lu Luca Kaneshiro, Pog. He does the Pog thing a lot. He does. It's like they never learned their mistake after the Black Stream incident. Let's see how they're going to defend their Golden Goose this time. Someone trolling Nidhi sisters posting on this Nina page on nyfco.org. Said they talked to go on, you know, they tried to dox me on that one. Tried to dox a lot of people on that one. Uh, continues to be no sort of platform for S like this. So basically, this, they, you know, they try to troll, but they got trolled back with the main thing that's happening right now with Luca. Here we go with Doki and Tenjin. They did a Apex collab. Of course, a lot of people supported them. Tenjin being Bonavir Pranaja's old one, of course, Selen Tatsuki now is Doki Bird. Um, of course, never, ever, ever mention their past lives when you are going to their current streams because they are their current selves and they are someone who wants to be, you know, new, wants to be seen as who they are now, not who they were before. Just out of respect, please. Uh, the stream was fun. We are so back. And of course, here is, is this collab I've been waiting for, Doki and Tenjin. A lot of people are saying Doki and Tenjin have sibling energy. They've had sibling energy ever since they were in uh, in Nidisanji, from what I understand. Bonavir and uh, Bonavir and Selene were always very, very cool when they were doing their collabs. They were always doing, you know, having a lot of fun, having you know energy that they popped off with each other. They were having things where you know they they had jokes where they were popping off of each other and stuff like that. So. Uh, who collabs with Doki doesn't. I'm really happy for this. It was very fun. A lot of people are saying the same thing. It was just a lot of fun. And of course, I want to make you guys aware of it because maybe some of you missed it. Here is someone wondering about the thoughts. We're going to take a look at the thoughts that people have about uh, Raziel's info. Uh, the You know, the information that she gave on everything and how Nidhi Sanji has responded to it. So let's comment on CoffeeZilla's channel. They should try to silence you. Keep going. You're on the right track. Exactly. That's the way I take it as well. When they try to silence you, when they try to go against you more and more, when they try to be, you know, aggressive after you, that means you're doing something right. That means you're on the right track. That means you keep going. Put a bad line on Nidhi Yen. It solid solidifies the claims. It does. It just makes it worse. Nidhi Sanji can spin this defamation and untrue, but people are smarter than that. 
All I'm going to say is Retribution will come when it comes to Luka. He eventually probably is going to get knocked down in the sense of his channel probably not doing so well. This is not going to go well for Luka when it comes to numbers. Of course, I do not wish any harm on any of the talents or any human beings out there. Let me just make this 100% clear. Do not go and harass the talents because of this. Do not go and harass Luka. Do not go and harass Niti Sanji. It does no good. It makes you into the bad guy. It just does no good. Of course, it can be funny for you. It can seem, you know, like, like fun and games. But all it does is make them continue to have a victim complex continue to have victimhood in their main thing and that's not what we want we want them to fix themselves not to close ranks and be victims again jp needy fans definitely see this as needy defending luca from slander and misinformation but uh the top reason they probably did this of course and here's someone actually saying their thoughts they think it's a criminal enterprise that's managed by morons it's not necessarily criminal but they are managed by morons i will agree with that part i will agree that it has bad management there's no changing them unless they change their management Share the docs, but not the rats, though. Need facts, not speculation. Absolutely. That's 100% true. Share facts, not, you know, the rats. And Luca's allegation is starting to look very legit. This is a little bit of a meme short. A little bit of a short meme. Uh, Luca Kanashiro looking all seedy, as always. You know, the quick look, the quick look to the right at you, and then <laughs> looking back. He decided he's scared of something. There definitely are. You wouldn't go for a cease and desist unless you're scared of something. He could have stayed quiet, dealt with it quietly, but Raziel coming out with this really suggests only that the allegations against Luca are true. And against all logic, are desperate to keep him because the Golden Goose favorite. If they can't learn and continue to just be self-serving by playing Delulu about their optics, trashing livers, and purportedly at, and proven overall to have really wronged and them or other, you know, threatening other livers, all that kind of stuff. Um, I hope the talent will be free of the company. I hope the talents will feel free. Uh, hopefully, the, I mean, I wish that the company would free itself up and be more like, you know, Hollow Live or, you know, other people like Idol, like Face Connect. But, you know, that's that's a little bit too uh, wishful thinking, I think. Let us someone sends Raziel Doc to the NBA Association. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. Uh, final thing that I'm going to have on this one, on the whole people having any idea, um, is the Any Color Stock Bulletin Board reactions. They're basically, you know, Any Color Cease and Desist actually wrote the autograph goods. Like, basically, it makes the, 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 uh, the person like uh, Raziel go and say you know that basically they're thinking that yes they did do the goods they did do everything actually wrote the handwritten messages uh actually built the structures in minecraft stream uh in that case the person who uploaded the video should sue luca to get the bottom of it if they upload it as a video where the authenticity is easily unclear the company deletes it that's the only thing that can be said in terms of content it will be luca asked for a proxy of his own and right here the last one saying i'm sure they picked it up from reddit but that's crazy radical community that spends all day discussing it all the posts seem strange in japanese is nerd here on business trip yeah it seems like they're kind of still defending Nidhi Sanji from what it looks like, but they're all, some of them are waking up to the reality that Nidhi Sanji, you know, maybe doing this is not the best idea. Um, it's just the, the sisters, yeah, the, the, the sisters, the uh, the defenders can be a bit of a joke. Humor them for a second, assume that we're crazy, diabolical. Uh, destroy Niji, we're not even the source of the allegations, the PDF or the cease and desist notice. The source of all this is Raziel. If the sis in the sisters' eyes, you know, anyone who spreads the information is just as bad. And, of course, the, the 20 people who are liking the the, the stuff against the, cease, the stuff for the cease and desist against Raziel are the same people. They're the same defenders. They're the same Nidhi Sanji stands, whatever you want to call them. Nidhi Sanji Karens, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's just not going to make anyone look good, honestly. It really isn't. Almost always kids and teenagers doing most of this stuff. So, yeah, it makes sense. But, yeah, it's just it's a weird situation. But uh, they really kick themselves in the ass with this one. They just kick themselves in the balls, pretty much. And of course, uh, False ID was the one who helped Raziel Warmonic do the whole uh, document that she is very famous for right now, that is very famous for the whole thing. Uh, I think False ID has been having a little bit of a break recently, uh, taking a bit of a break because of the fact that he is working on something like this. He was probably warned or, or at least informed by Raziel before Raziel posted this and was probably, you know, uh, False probably told her, post it, let people know about it, let the word spread. It's going to help you out more than it's going to hurt you. Uh, she could do like a GoFundMe. She could do something like that to kind of get some money for it. She could get an Indiegogo, not Indiegogo, but you know, GoFundMe, something like that to get maybe legal funds if she wants to actually fight this because she has, at least in the US and in the West, she has grounds to fight it. 
because there was no defamation. There was no NDA breach if she wasn't actually in an NDA. There's nothing that they can actually go for if it was true, you know, unless she was specifically attacking Nidhi Sanji, which she wasn't. She was attacking, not attacking, but she was uh, making sure people knew about a certain person. So it wasn't necessarily attacking an organization. So they can't make it as like, oh, it was uh, interference in their uh, tortious interference or anything like that on their um, actual organization. And it's like, don't know, man. One thing has been certain for every brain move that Nidhi Sanji has looked through he's basically making himself like a rich kid type of way like a rich kid or a man baby throwing a tantrum uh i hope she seeks real legal help like that's the main thing that i that i want her to seek real legal help of course as has been mentioned before by sayu and others they can just outspend you they can absolutely outspend you they can make you take a year or more to defend yourself and it just the the legal bills will mount again and again you can go for legal fees if you win but that is just if you win and that is if it doesn't take freaking two three years to go through the whole process that's the problem with the whole thing bit of a promo post positive post whatever you want to call this one Tenjin, who used to be bon bonavir pranajas uh uh old you know basically is their past life and they're going back to it it's going to be debuting in 48 hours what does this mean uh chad guy that says he stopped streaming for four months and left the company requesting no graduation stream then a week later, he has he's an indie and he's doing his own thing. The dude was like, "F this shit, I'm out." Um, Doki when Doki got terminated, of course it really seemed that it was Doki that got terminated that stopped him from actually wanting to post. Also intentionally streaming on his PL instead of Niji identity, even before the whole Selen incident, he was likely already sick of the treatment and his branch it was getting, and only appeared stayed in Niji Sanji to you know just uh, write out the contract probably. I don't think I can catch a stream, but happy that he's debuting. I'm very happy that he's debuting. Like to D debut, most likely. Like to D according to what he said during his collab with Doki. So in the collab with Doki, he did say that he was going to be premiering again. It's going to be live 2D. It's going to be all that kind of fun stuff. So of course, support him if you can. Support Tenjin that has now gotten out of the toxic company and is doing their stuff the way that they want to do it now. Here we have a little bit of meme because of course I do like adding a little bit of meme when I can. Here's in Niji is X NBA merch. A box with the the bulls because of course he for whatever reason he's there with the bulls this this is a meme thing of course not legs too short of course this is because of my, the, the long long man thing that happened with uh in the past of course people were always doing that stuff she would make great basketball player with a new model but yeah this is the merch like this is just making fun of the merch the ideas paid on ebay uh these type of things here the uh hollow merch being better than the niji merch niji merch is just always bad small niji puppets are pretty cute but that's about it yeah niji merch is very lazy that's the meme with that one and finally which is that being actually that or the whatever the f they did during their intermission yes they had they, they she was sniffing her hair she was sniffing her hair that's what she was doing she was just you know having some closeness with a friend of course of course having some closeness with a friend are they gay or european gay because of canadian the other one is american so yeah, <laughs> another one right here. Yes, of course she loved it. She loved it with the with the the mint phantom. Loved it. She loved it. And that's your meme for today. With quarter four probably not looking so good, and the quarter four reports uh, probably not going to be looking too great. They're probably in about two weeks or so that they're going to be popping out around June four thirteenth, June fourteenth. Around that time is usually when they pop them out. Maybe it's going to be you know June fifteenth around there. That week is when they pop out. So quarter four is approaching according to this person. Now they're going to release the voice packs. Of course, they're going to be releasing voice packs because that is where they make a lot of money. Voice packs is actually something where supposedly the livers make a bit more percentage wise. So they won't be saying this like, you know, 2%. It won't be the 2%. It might be a little bit more in this case. So this is something that at the very least will be affecting the livers positively, more positively than like the other merch that's being sent out there. Um, to be fair, it's more like quarter one of 2025. Exactly like I'm saying, it's more more fair because quarter four was done, I think, in March. So this is more quarter one of 2025. In case a quarter four ends up being bad, it ends up being, you know, better in quarter one of 2025. And uh, people are saying the company sure isn't going to miss their June Bride merch. It's one of the only times of the year they can be arm twist the members into making BFE, GFE experience type of stuff, which also gets a lot of money, of course. Uh, this looks like a Valentine's Day, Bride Day type of thing, but um, yeah, they're just trying to get GFE, BFE experience, get the Fujoshis and the uh, Unicorns to try, and the a very pair of social fans to try to get some something in there, something, you know, purchased and bought. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.